Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iaccino. So Bitcoin continued higher. We had 12,130. What did we get up to? 12,134 with a sharp reversal. There was massive selling in there. So I'm going to update some levels, but this is why we use those levels. It gives you areas to either take profits or pull up stops. And also, we just don't put stops in because when you get this massive selling, I think over a billion got sold all at once. We watch where it closes because of these bounce backs. So you see, see here, even in a one hour bar, it, it bounced back. Well, the low was um, 10,546, and the close was actually 11,181. And now it's drifting sideways. So, what are we watching for now? We don't yet have the first cross. It would be much more bullish if it got back above about 11,300. It's holding the support level right around, right around here, about 10,933. So 10, I just go 10,950. If we get a close below 10,900, I'll be starting watching for a bigger pullback. But I always pay attention to these quick snapbacks. They generally do recover or drift sideways for a while before recovering. Take a look at that daily chart. So you see here, spiking in the rotation zone with now well back above it. So the daily rotation zone is about 10,980. So if you get a close below that, I'm going to start watching also for a potential bigger pullback because then we'll have closed in the daily rotation zone. To the upside to the upside what are we watching now let's just double check on this four hour seeing if there's any little resistance ledges so right around 11,660 is the first level I would be watching if we get through that I'm just gonna be watching it means we're rallying back pretty hard I'm just gonna be watching the 12,000 and 12,134 12,549 12 9,964. If we do close in the daily rotation zone, which you can also watch this level right here. Uh, let me just do it this way. This level right, come on, right here, about 10,934. So 10,900 is that really key area. Close below there. That'd be in the rotation zone. That's where I'd start watching for the bigger pullback. Major support now coming in at 10,300. That's the bottom of the rotation zone and right in front of the 25% retracement. Switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum, let's go to that four hour chart. Technically, we didn't get that pausing bar there. Let's see if you can see if that was a one hour pausing bar. It was a one hour pausing bar. Don't like to use it, but that's all we had. I was hoping that was going to be a four-hour pausing bar, but it gave us that 414.53 level. We ran up to, what was the high, 415. And then major reversal spiking, wow, all the way down to 325.75, but then closing at 380. Again, that's why you watch the close. So closing above the rotation zone on the four-hour, then closing in, now rotating back up. So I am going to take all these levels up a notch because now we have a nice really big pause with the rotation. So we can also put on this these little levels. So if we get above 389, 396, about 397, then 405, then I'd start watching a return to 415. Above 415, we have 438, cluster area 456 to 461, and then 496. To the downside, should this rotation fail or stall out, I'm going to be watching about 360. Close below 360, I'd watch for a return. We got 334 on the 4-hour, but let me look at the daily. Yeah, I'd be watching 334. You might have minor support at 341. With that would be the sorry, I left that on. That would be the uh, rotation zone, but I'd really start focusing more at this spike low, this little resistance error or prior resistance becoming support. So I'd really start watching those lows if this does fall. Okay, we were getting overextended from the rotation zone, we tested it and reset it, but now we have to see if this little 
rotation back up holds. It looks so far like it is going to, but really watch to where it closes in the, in the next few hours. So we have a few on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone later. Bye for now.